Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That is the Westminster Church here in Orangeville. Like how it's an 18, it's done in the 1800s, so the architecture is so neat. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Genesis 4 verse 7. It says, "Whenever uh, you will be accepted if you do what is right. But if you refuse to do what is right, then watch out. Sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you. But you must subdue it and be its master. Here's my poem. Do what is right. Whenever there is an occasion to do what is right, go ahead and do it. Don't hesitate or think twice. The opportunity may never come again. Then you will lose what you can gain. Doing what is right will keep the devil away. He won't knock on your heart's door any day. Doing good is what keeps you protected. It makes you overcome any attempt at being tempted. Here's my essay. Have you ever encountered an opportunity to do good and missed out on it? I recently was interrupted in my work because of an invitation to help someone. Instead of willingly complying to their request, I came up with so many excuses not to do it. My panic attack and selfishness got the better of me and I declined it. As a consequence of foregoing this chance to do what is right, I am suffering now losing the chance to be with someone I really care for and love. The Bible tells us to do what is right because it closes the door to the enemy. It protects us from all kinds of bondage to sin. Prayer. Lord, give me, I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me for not choosing to do what is right. Reflection. When did you do the right thing and reaped a harvest from it? Um, there was a point in my life that even if I, um, it was painful for me to let go um, my son. But I knew it was the right thing for me to do because God is trying to teach him a lesson. And I did, and um, I knew he was angry at me for quite a while, but eventually it led him to meet this person who loves him so much. And because of what happened to us, I was not making an excuse that what I did, I tried not to enable him, and I tried to, I wanted him to be on his own feet, two feet, because he's now a father. And I think by doing that, I have opened his eyes into uh, becoming a more responsible person and um, you'd always want your children to learn to be on their own when they're grown up already. So I think I did the right thing and I reaped that harvest because now I see uh, that he has a good relationship with his new partner. So thanks for watching and I hope you check my website and do what is right. Don't hesitate. Don't even think about not doing it. Just do it. It says in the Bible that do anything you can when it is in your power to do it. So thanks for watching again. Check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day.